Now the reality is that we can't all afford those dedicated lines, or they may just not be beneficial for the scenario that you find yourself in. You may need to use something that's less expensive and you may not require the extra bandwidth and the guaranteed bandwidth that a leased or dedicated line is going to give you. In those cases, we have other options to look at. Everything from modems and ISDN all the way through to ATM and frame relay. So we want to understand how these WAN technologies work as well.